What's going on guys? Junior's Fishing Company with a chatterbait today. So I went a little uh, little crazy getting that lead bump off. I don't know. I think I used the wrong side of the file, but half ounce original chatterbait. I get the really cheap ones just because I've never really noticed a huge difference in the $5 and $15 chatterbaits and I end up taking off the skirts and stuff like that anyway so if you're paying for the skirt don't I mean if I could buy these plain I would save a little bit of money but blackhead so I'm gonna go with I've actually got nightmare musky flies flash and fiber in just gray so this is like kind of like a crappie pattern uh, bait fish pattern, kind of like, you know, the classic rapala of the black and white, but it's got gray, black, white, it's got some silver flash in it, and I blended it with some big fly fiber, just black, just because I wanted a little more black in there, because I'm going to put some dubbing at the top of this, and it's going to be white, so I wanted a little more, a little darker uh, body. I'm going to start with some bit, uh, strong fuzzy fiber in red and I'm just gonna put it down here and it's gonna go again this baits probably gonna be about six inches and this is gonna go about halfway down I just wanna add a little bit of red to this bait and I went back and forth if I was gonna do red dubbing but I thought that would be a little bit too much so I'm gonna start with I'm gonna tie this strung fuzzy right by this lead bump and then I'm going to try and fit everything else up here where the actual lead is so we'll see how this turns out I'm going to go right before my lead and I'm going to tie this in I'm going to do three kind of little stacks of this maybe just two that's going to be plenty. And then this one's going to be a little bit longer. And I'm going to kind of split this with my fingers and get it around my hook. Because I don't want it all bunched up there. Just give it a little wrap and I can make sure that I'm going to cover everything I need to. And this stuff gets really tangled. So you want to make sure, first of all, that you've got it down and then comb it out or use your bodkin or something because this stuff will just knot up on you. So I've got that down. Make sure that that's cinched down. I'm not going to add any flash just because in get up there in the nightmare musky flies flash and fiber there's flash that's already blended in and so what I want to do is I'm going to build up a little body right here just so because I don't have a ton of room to work with but if I build up my thread this is 210 white if I build up a little bit of thread there, it gives me just a little more room to work with. Then I can even put a little bit of glue down to hold all this thread in. Just a little bit. Just to hold that down. then I can just get it off because I don't even need a ton I just want it to to stick there so I've got two stacks of these what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna tie this about a little more maybe 60 40 I don't know what you think that is 70 30 and it's gonna go to about my brass and then I'm gonna kind of spin it around and I'm gonna kind of do like 
I don't even know. I can't. I don't know what you call this. I'm and then I'm gonna fold the, this back, almost like you would dubbing, because I want. And then I'm gonna do a thinner, shorter stack up a little bit farther, because it's just gonna help add some body. Because I'm. This is pretty much a fully synthetic bait that I'm doing. I'm not putting any natural materials which I don't do a lot of I really prefer primarily using natural materials as opposed to a full synthetic bait make sure that that's down and it, these the push tools they're non-existent for stuff like this so you can kind of just push back as much as you can and you can just use your hands and I'll just get a loose wrap on there get everything back see I'm slipping so I'm going to come back up here I just want to wrap right up on top of it. And I want it to be pretty even, as even as I can get it. And then I'm going to put some super glue down because I don't want that to slip. So it's not really to add durability. It's just to keep things where I want them so they don't. And any of those super long stragglers you can get rid of. And then I'll be able to add my second little stack. And again, this isn't much thicker or thinner, but it's definitely going to be shorter. And because I, I don't want all of this stuff to go back to here again. I want it to kind of taper like you would if you were doing deer hair or something like that. You go here, a little bit farther up, a little bit farther up, a little bit farther up. And so I don't want all of this to be the same length. You want a nice little taper. Especially in these chatter baits, when you build these chatter baits, I mean, obviously they thump a lot, right? So you want it to wiggle if you have too many too much materials on these chatter baits they really just kind of pull in the water and so I just want again maybe this one's going to be a little bit closer to 60 40 but I don't want to go all the way back you see I'm going to about right here and then this one the one on my right I don't feel like waiting for this glue to dry. Make sure it doesn't stick to my materials. So I can get that. And I can come pretty far up. Not worried about the room I need for my head because that dubbing, you really don't need any room at all. Try and get all this spun around. So it's pretty thin, but I'm gonna get this pushed back. Try and get all that. I don't hollow tie much, just because with jigs and stuff, it's so hard to find a good push tool to use to push all your materials back and then really I'm just gonna put a little dubbing up here and I should be good to go this is a really simple tie but with chatter baits, I try to be really careful with how much stuff I put on. And then when it's all synthetic like this, I'll usually 
get the bait wet first and then trim it a little bit but I might even put some eyes on here so I've got two different white dubbings that I'm gonna put on they're both Titan dub from Nightmare Musky Flies one is just white and the other one's bloody bait fish so the bloody bait fish I'm it's gonna be a little red so I'm actually gonna put it on top here which is the bottom of my bait so I want to make sure I put that one on first and it, it's not you know I'm not using a ton of dubbing again because I want this to be a little bit of a thinner bait so I'll kind of go I can almost let it sit and I'm doing about 50 50 ish and I can get it pushed down right there cord up my thread and I want to be right at the top of my bait and then I can kind of just do one loose wrap and get this stuff fanned out to be about 50-50 on my chatter bait. And then I'll get a couple tight wraps, make sure that it's down. And so the next dubbing I'm going to do this white. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of split it in my hand a little to get it around my hook. And then I can come around, make sure that it's right where I want it to be. Make sure that this gets spread around too. I can add just a couple tight wraps then I'm going to get this pushed back first I can get that started and I'll get this one pushed back got one little scraggler and then once you get one wrap down you should be good to go couple tight wraps and then I'm going to get this combed out. You'll lose some of this, but I save it just because it's good. It doesn't like tear and rip and stuff like that. It's still good. All right, so I figured I'll put some eyes on here just because it sounds kind of fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this I'm gonna pull back and I'm just gonna go super quick and try and get some of that fuzz off the sides and I've got seven millimeter living eyes ice these are some of my favorite eyes there's a bunch of different eyes you can get out there but I usually just go with the ice color I mean or there's earth and I think fire and stuff like that but I'm gonna put these actually there's a couple spots you could put these I've put them here before right on the head I've put them right on the side here but I'm actually gonna put them right there today so I've got my first eye and I'm gonna put on this is just Loctite gel I'm going to put just a little bit on there, pull this back, I'm just going to put it right on the line between, between my, that lead bump and kind of where my thread collar is and I'll get the other one and once this dries it sticks on pretty good to that to that dubbing but honestly this will only last a few fish because once it gets wet and dries and wet and dries and there's a film on the top of these eyes that usually comes off first but 
try and get that in about the same spot. Just be careful not to get your hands. You don't want to use something that isn't going to stick too much. They're a little bit off, but honestly, eyes are eyes can be tricky, and I usually try not to spend too much time focusing on my eyes. So there it is, a quick tie, little shad pattern, crappie, something like that. I'll get all of these really long ones, kind of tapered and trimmed. And then I'll get this bait wet, and I'll actually end up trimming it, because I can see some things that are kind of choosing to pop out. I have dubbing in my mouth. But no, I, I love chatterbaits, Z-man, or bladed jigs. Bladed jigs, little thinner profile, shad pattern, Junior's Fishing Company, juniorsfishing.com, see you in the water.